Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some more airsoft adventures and I'm trying out a new field called Tax City. This is in Southern California. And uh, as you can see, it is close quarters and crazy. It's using an M9 that Jet, AKA the Desert Fox, loaned me for a round. But uh, first, before I get into the gameplay here, I wanna talk a little bit about my gear. Specifically, my new chest rig that I basically set up all with Condor Outdoor Equipment. They're a company that makes real uh, combat equipment, but they do it at a pretty affordable price, so a lot of airsofters buy their stuff. And this plate carrier that I'm using right now is called a quick release plate carrier. It's uh, very easy to detach if you need to in an emergency. And this here is a sling, and as you can see, it can hold the gun for you if your arms get tired or if you're walking a long distance and you don't need to be ready for action. The sling is quite nice. It's got a quick detach if you need to get it off of you. This specific sling is the Cobra One Point Bungee Sling, again made by Condor Outdoor with Atax Camo. And what's cool about the combination of the chest rig and the sling is that I can route it through the shoulder pads there so I can store it easily. Right below the sling is the quick release pull tab here. If I pull this hard enough, the whole vest basically just falls apart and I can get rid of it quickly if I need to. Again, not quite as useful in airsoft, but it is kind of a neat feature to know that you have. Now I'm going to demonstrate the Condor Outdoor M4 Stacker mag pouches. As you can see, I can take a mag out of there quickly, swap it, and then put the empty mag in my dump pouch and I'm ready to engage the enemy again. The specific mag pouches that I got allow me to double stack M4 magazines. So just with three of them, I can put six uh, mags on my chest rig. Uh, if I get more, I can fit up to 10 mags on my chest rig. And that is something nice about having one of the larger plate carriers is that if I need to put lots of things on here, I've got tons of molly webbing. So I can fit uh, utility pouches, tons of magazines, grenades, whatever I want, I can fit it on here. So here I am at Tac City using my new chest rig, trying it out. It seems to be working pretty nicely. The round just started and we're sprinting to the right side of the map as fast as possible. I'm playing with Chris from Warfighter Airsoft and Jet, AKA the Desert Fox. Now, unfortunately I have a few smudges on the camera lenses here. So you'll have to forgive me for some of the less than clear quality here. But uh, Chris is going low. He's trying to peek around this corner. We know they're to the far right of this map. I got our six. All right. He's down. I got down. Is that guy up? Yeah. So right there, Chris was using a pistol. He exchanged fire with an enemy player and they seemed to trade kills. So I'm thinking this is a good time to push up. Good, I need a kill, it's been a bad day so far. Sorry man, you friendly? So right there, I rushed the corner, had no idea that there's gonna be three enemies standing there. I somehow managed to kill them all without getting shot, which is beyond me. I just don't think they're ready. Also, a teammate was flanking them from the far left, and he just happened to be turning the corner at the exact moment that I was shooting at all those guys. So sadly, I got a friendly kill in uh, the mix-up there. And that seems to happen quite a bit at Tax City, just because this map uh, is so chaotic, you end up shooting at friendlies. Okay. Going up straight, I got left. Straight, 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 straight. Right there, right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now at the end of the round there, I took point and so Jet was following me and basically in that situation, it's Jet's job to look at all the angles that I'm not looking. For the most part, I should just be looking straight or at the angles that I'm approaching. What's up? 
Alright. Alright, man. Sorry about that. Now that was a quick game of force on force. I was guarding the left flank there. I got two kills and then the third kill I shot the guy a little bit too close and uh, had to call myself out. Unfortunately, those are the rules here at Tax City. If you shoot somebody at 10 feet or closer, uh, you have to call yourself out of the match. And it seems to happen quite a bit just because it's such a close quarter arena. Here we are trying the exact same tactic, pushing the left flank here. I'm far left flank. Uh, managed to pick off one guy as he's coming around the corner here. And then uh, Jet is in this building here, and we're going to try and use some teamwork to push up further on this left side. I'm watching far left. There's one back here. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Hey, hey, cover this point. Cover, cover this one. Hit, hit. Hit, hit. hit, hit. Now there you guys got to see a little bit of tack light usage as I was pushing up there you saw some big white light flashing. Uh, those are actually really effective in close quarters. Uh, if you're familiar with Battlefield 3 tack lights they basically do the exact same thing. They really are disorienting and they can definitely screw you up in close quarter combat. At least uh, make you hesitate long enough for your opponent to get the kill. So that's something I'm looking into now is to acquire a tack light. You'll see a little bit more tack light usage here. And I'm trying to push up on this right side here into some pretty dense resistance. And I'm going to run into one specific player who's got identical cover to me. And I'm going to use a few uh, change up tactics to try and keep my position a little bit less predictable. And you'll see here in a second. Now what I'm going to do here is I know the player is watching the exact same corner where I am. So rather than peek it standing up, I'm going to take a knee and peek out lower down. The player isn't going to be ready for that specific angle. It's going to give me a slight advantage in terms of reaction time. Now, to any veteran airsoft players out there, I know this is basically the bread and butter of airsoft. This is a very basic technique. I'm new to the game. I'm sure there's a lot of other viewers out there that are pretty new to airsoft. And if you can get this technique down really well, it's probably going to win you a lot of firefights. Anyway, I really enjoyed playing Attack City. It's definitely a very fast gameplay style, faster than anything else I had tried at any of the other airsoft arenas in my area. So uh, it's kind of nice to have this option as like a change up if I'm in the mood for something much quicker paced. It is going to take a little while to learn the map because there's so many different flanking options and weird angles that uh, you get exposed to, but it's definitely good for working on your gunplay. So if you're interested in trying out Tax City, it's located in Fullerton, Southern California. They got great refs, uh, just a good atmosphere overall. As for the Condor equipment, it worked out really well. I like their dump pouch a lot. Their chest rig is large, perhaps maybe a little bit too big for some of the quick gameplay, but I could see it on some of the outdoor maps where you need a lot more magazines and or utilities available to you. A large chest rig like that would come in so. use very well. Uh, the sling is really nice, good quality. The bungee is great. Uh, so I was really happy with all the Condor outdoor equipment. Something to look into if you're looking to get some cool looking uh, airsoft equipment that's also useful on a budget. Remember to check out the Desert Fox's YouTube channel and Chris from Warfighter. They're both linked in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. This is Level Cap, signing off.